Hey everybody, um, we're talking stories and uh, this is a book by a guy called Neil Gaiman. The book's called Trigger Warning and it's a collection of his short stories. Uh, I'm going to read a short story to you uh, and I hope that you can hear how I read it, uh, how my voice changes, perhaps consider whose point of view the story is from. I want you to ask yourself, does it have an orientation? Is there rising action? Is there a climax in the story? Falling action and a conclusion? Is it told from first person, second person, third person uh, limited or third person omniscient? Those are the things that we need to consider. Anyway, this story is called Observing the Formalities. If you listen very closely, you might in fact hear another story influencing this one. A very famous story. See if you can guess that by the end. Observing the Formalities by Neil Gaiman. As you know, I wasn't invited to the christening. Get over it, you tell me. But it's the little formalities that keep the world turning. My twelve sisters each had an invitation, engraved and delivered by a footman. I thought perhaps my footman had got lost. Few invitations reach me here. People no longer leave visiting cards. And even when they did, I would tell them I was not at home. Deploring the unmannerliness of these more recent generations, they eat with their mouths open. They interrupt. Manners are all and the formalities. When we lose those, we have lost everything. Without them, we might as well be dead. Dull, useless things, the young should be taught a trade, should hew or spin, should know their place and stick to it. Be seen, not heard. Be hushed. My youngest sister is invariably late and interrupts. I am myself a stickler for punctuality. I told her no good will come of being late. I told her back when we were still speaking, when she was still listening. She laughed. It could be argued that I should not have turned up uninvited. But people must be taught lessons. Without them, none of them will ever learn. People are dreams and awkwardness and gawk. They prick their fingers, bleed and snore and drool. Politeness is as quiet as a grave. Unmoving, Roses without thorns or white lilies people have to learn. Inevitably, my sister turned up late. Punctuality is the politeness of princes. That's an inviting all potential godmothers to a christening. They said they thought I was dead. Perhaps I am. I can no longer recall. Still and all, it was necessary to observe the formalities. I would have made her future so tidy and polite. Eighteen is old enough, more than enough. After that, life gets so messy. Loves and hearts are such untidy things. Christenings are raucous times and loud and rancorous. As bad as weddings, invitations go astray. We'd argue about precedence and gifts. They would have invited me to the funeral. The end. <laughs>